Hi guys, this is Erica at uh, Create Your Future. I'm one of the coaches here on staff. And today I really wanted to talk about the importance of the now moment. Why do I wanted to talk about that? Uh, what is the now moment? Well, the now moment is that eternal now moment, right? That, for example, a couple of seconds ago when I started this video, it's already gone. But we always have that now, 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 now moment that is eternal. And I wanted to talk about it because what is it that we're telling ourselves every now moment? Because I think that with every now moment, we're creating something, right? Uh, and what, are, what stories are we telling ourselves? What stories are we creating with that powerful now moment? Um, it's important to, for that reason, have a really good, clean mental diet. What does that mean? It means to only have positive thoughts about yourself and about what you want, right? Assuming the best of people as well. Assuming that, you know, having a good self-concept with every now moment. But now what do we usually do? Sometimes, or a lot of times, we bring the past to the now moment and what happens? We recreate the past with that powerful now moment. For example, if in the past um, someone rejected me, I don't know why, but I always go to the rejection story. Uh, if in the past someone rejected me and I remember, oh, like this person rejected me, what I do is I bring that past situation to the now moment and I keep recreating rejection either from that person or if I feel rejected at that moment, I keep recreating rejection from other people. So what it's super important to do is no, to know that the past is already gone, right? Analyze the past, know what you manifested in that past and simply say, okay, from now on with every now moment, I'm making a commitment with myself to only think about what I want. If in the past I see that I experienced rejection, the work is to only think of myself as someone that is chosen, that is that is loved, that is respected, that is pursued, mm -hmm. right? And leave that past in the past. Because if we keep thinking rejection because they did that to us before, then we keep recreating that rejection story. Um, and with that now moment, what am I thinking about myself, right? What is my self-concept? And I think that ties in a little bit with being our best friend, like I talked about in a different video. What are you telling yourself with every now moment? I am loved. I am wanted. I am desired. I am pursued. I am important. I am respected. I am valued. Or are we thinking of the past like, oh, like they always reject me. They always disrespect me. They always cheat on me. What are we telling ourselves with every now moment about ourselves, right? I think self-concept is super important. And I think with that every now moment that is eternal, lift up yourself and say, I am someone that is wonderful. I am, I'm wonderful, I'm amazing, I'm loved, I'm respected. And then also, what are you telling yourself about the other person or the people in your life? It doesn't matter what they did to you in the past. Leave that past in the past. The past is dead, unless you bring it to that powerful now moment. So what are we thinking of the other person? Even if they did something wrong to you, even if they rejected you in the past, that is something that we manifested somehow. But do we want more rejection? No. So if I don't want more rejection, what I have to do is change the story that I'm telling myself right now. So change the story of that person. If they rejected you in the past, well, from now on, this person loves me. They adore me. They choose me. They commit to me. They pursue me. And really believe that if they have zero free will, that person has to conform to that new story that you're telling but only tell yourself the story of the person that 
that is choosing you and loving you and respecting you and valuing you. Leave that old story and the past of the person that did you wrong, unless you want to keep manifesting the same old story. I think I also talked about this in the past. In order to manifest and experience a wonderful relationship, a wonderful story that maybe you've never experienced in the past, you have to tell that new story for that new story to manifest. And um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Uh, I feel like I had to talk about something else. Oh, yeah, let's just say that, for example, someone that you're interested in. I don't know why, but I just felt the urge to, to talk about this. Maybe someone needs to hear this. But let's say that you're dating someone or you're interested in someone that you heard that they were a player. You don't know, like maybe he dated someone that you know and that, that person said, oh my God, like he was such a player, he was always cheating on me. Then you want to date that person or, or you start dating that person. And then you're like, oh my gosh, like what if he cheats on me too, if he did that before, right? Think about the fact that you don't know what the other person that he was dating or she was dating, you don't know what they were thinking. You don't know what fears they had. You don't know what assumptions they had. So therefore it is irrelevant what your SP did in the past, right? Because your SP in your reality will conform to your self-concept and to the assumptions that you have about him. And we go back to that powerful now moment. It doesn't matter what he used to do in the past, but with me, in my reality, this person is amazing to me. He's respectful. Maybe you can affirm that I'm the one that's breaking the pattern pattern of him cheating with me. He wants to be loyal. He's the most loyal person that I've ever been with, right? Because it's my reality and, me, and my reality, they conform to me. They have an obligation <laughs> to conform to my positive assumptions of them. And I also feel like I, I wanna talk about self-love. Self-love is not really that you're telling yourself all day, every day, I love you, I love you, I love you in front of a mirror. It's more about only allow yourself to think positive, only allow yourself to think positive about the other people in your life. Give them positive labels because guess who's gonna benefit from those positive assumptions? You right? So really think highly of other people. You can affirm like, I manifest the best out of everyone in my life because that's just who I am, right? That's my reality. That's how things work for me. And don't forget that self-concept is super important. So remember the now moment is super powerful. What are you telling yourself with every now moment? The past is in the past. It's dead unless you bring it back to that now moment. So let's stop thinking about the old story, even if it's positive, right? <laughs> because you're you're always consciously creating everything with your ever now moment. Okay. So I guess that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you need help with your specific situation, I'm here for you. And we also have uh, a bunch of really amazing coaches. So, yeah. Um, thank you for watching, for liking, and subscribing. And I don't know why, but Prince wants to say hi. <laughs> thank you. Bye-bye.